Welcome to Thomas Mills High School. I'm Mr Hurst, the head teacher. I'm very sorry that we can't meet as a group, but we do look forward to meeting you very soon. In this presentation, I want to just give a brief introduction, a little bit about next year's context, and then also some expectations. In September, we will be working with 175 children, so the year group is full. They will be led by a head of year, Mr Farthing, and they'll be organised into six uh, tutor groups. The transition to high school can sometimes seem quite daunting. Lots more teachers, lots more rooms, but lots of reassurance will be given and they will soon find their feet. We will start next September with just year seven and year 12 in school, and that will give them plenty of time and space to become familiar with the school. In terms of the school's context, I'm really pleased to say that we've maintained our curriculum offer, we've a balanced budget, and as a standalone academy, our sole, our sole focus is on this school. Over the summer, we will be spending about 700,000 on lots of improvements around the site, and that will also include a toilet refurbishment, as well as a little bit of spend in the library. We are fully staffed for September, and the new staff joining us really are of high quality and I know they will already add to the talent that we've got um, on the team. In terms of wider priorities next year, we're focusing on three things, to connect more, to achieve more and to nurture more. And this will also include good quality teaching as well as support. I just want to briefly talk about expectations, but I will of course share this with the uh, new students in September. Her ethos here is really underpinned by her charter of values, and these values result in a calm and self-disciplined atmosphere. I want to make it clear that courtesy, self-discipline, and respect for others is essential. There's no place for bullying in this school, and such behaviour, which is deliberately hurtful, could receive the highest of sanctions. Children will be joining us from a number of schools, but they will be supported in making and managing friendships. And although I'll be sharing our values and our expectations in assemblies, I do not, as the head, envisage having many individual conversations and certainly not repeated conversations. And as a school, we don't have lots of do nots, but one of the do nots is mobile phones. They should not be seen or used during the school day. That includes break times and lunch times. They can, however, be used after school, and I know in terms of safety, many parents appreciate that if there was a delay, for example, in being picked up. During the school day, parents should make contact with the school office. I will ask for your support with all of our wider expectations, including attendance, punctuality and uniform. Do talk to your uh, son or daughter about their learning and do check their logbook. Do show an interest in their homework, but please don't do it for them. We are looking forward to the return of many clubs and even more extracurricular activities next year. And my advice to all students is to get involved, get involved in the wider life of the school. Over the last few days, I have been reading many Year 7 reports. And in a year's time, you will be looking forward to your son or daughter's first Thomas Mills report. Experience tells us that the next seven years will pass very quickly. Your child will leave us as young adults. And we want to see confident, independent learners with a range of skills able to make their way in the world. I am sure you will have every reason to be proud of your son and daughter and what they will achieve at this school. But in the meantime, we look forward to working with you in partnership to ensure that they reach their potential and I'm sure we will meet face to face as a group very, very soon. Thank you.